Hey there you great people. I hope you've all been safe and well and loving life at the moment. I'm having a little bit of a nightmare at the minute. If you've been watching my videos recently, um, you'll realise I've run out of uh, memory cards. Um, so I'd dad go to a store and pick me up a memory card and drop it off. And if you remember that memory card stopped working after about a day or two. Um, <coughs> so he took it back and they exchanged it for another one. The same card by the same company. Um, and literally I went up to my friends last night. Um, we're going to, we set up a little fireworks display uh, ready to fire. Uh, and some parachute flares, some hand flares, some parachute flares. And uh, <coughs> I took my GoPro up with me. And once we set the fireworks ready to fire off, um, turned the GoPro on, it wouldn't recognise the card. And I come home, I tried the card in this tablet that records on here, this Samsung tablet. Um, nothing. Um, so yesterday, because it is now um, 2.33 in the morning, uh, Saturday, yesterday I had a walk over to Dad's. Um, early afternoon and he he'd just come back from uh, uptown I gave him the card and he took it back for me and uh, I said I do not want the same card again because I had the same card twice and it's gone wrong after a day or two so I said could you pick me up this card here um, it's a SanDisk uh, Xtreme uh, really high speed 64 gig card um, I did not really want to spend the money I spent on it the other card was only um, eight pound eight english pound this one's cost 20 quid but needs must as we say you know i needed another memory card if not i couldn't do any more videos um, um or back them up either because i back up every single video i've done on this channel just in case anything happens to the channel and i've got to start again and restart a new channel and then i can re-upload the uh, these videos um from the memory card which they backed up to so didn't really want to spend the £20 on that card. It's quite expensive, but it is a really, really good card. Uh, I've checked up online and it is recommended um, by GoPro for GoPros. And actually GoPro.com, every GoPro they sell new, um, they actually supply the exact SanDisk Extreme memory card. So I know that I'm going to have no issues from now on. And that will do me for about five, six months of uh, these reaction videos and out and about with the GoPro. So I've got about six months worth now with 64 gig card. Um, so there you go, yeah. A little bit of a nightmare, but hopefully it's over now. I'm going to try the card uh, later on. I'll open up the packaging. Obviously, you see it's still brand new on open. I'll try it in a bit once this video is edited uh, and uploaded and live on this channel. I'll put the uh, card in this tablet here and... Uh, and see how we go anyway as it is a friday i thought i'd bring you a little bit of comedy uh, as most of you obviously it's friday you've probably finished work uh, earlier on you might still be working in america because i know you're like six seven eight nine hours behind me um so yeah because it is a weekend a friday or start of the weekend i'm going to bring you a little bit of comedy it's only a quick little short video here but it's from what i've done before which most i think if you enjoyed which is a dick emery show uh it's called HMS Bel Belfast, HMS Belfast, so Her Majesty's Ship Belfast Museum Ship. So let's take a look. <coughs> it's the people that want to do tours on it. It's like to say as well, this character here, which you see in my other Dick Emery videos, if you're interested, his name is Clarence, um, this character that's coming um, down the steps here. And he, I don't think they get much camper than that, if you understand what I mean by that. Um, but probably my favourite character, absolutely hilarious. Right, I'll shut up now and we'll get on with it. <laughs> oh, hello, honky tonks, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I say, am I on board? Isn't that marvellous? I don't feel a bit seasick. It's not, it's not moving. <laughs> my friend Rupert ran it up for me. It's a sailor suit. <laughs> Mistake you for a real one, do you? Are you talking about? I'm a real one, you saucy sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Yo ho ho and all that on the quarter deck. <laughs> <laughs> morning, Adam. Good morning. This way, Mara. <coughs> Looks like a school trip. Now, come along, hurry along. Remember what we agreed about behaviour? <laughs> 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 Looks like uh, schools took some uh, kids on a school trip on the boat. Obviously, this boat doesn't go out to sea. It's now... 
um, been deactivated as a genuine ship in the Royal Navy, the British Royal Navy, and obviously it's just a museum now, you can do tours on it. I was lucky enough to, when I was young, maybe 12 years old in my secondary school or high school, to uh, do a tour of a base called Devonport, which is in Plymouth in the next county, up in uh, Devon, obviously. Uh, and I went on um, some serious uh, warships, uh, like HMS Cornwall, HMS Raleigh, and actually went in the ships. And we actually, uh, at Devonport, after we'd been on the sh a couple of the ships, um, you know, live, actually active in service, Royal Navy ships, uh, massive great destroyers. Uh, when we were like halfway through the day, we actually uh, sat in what they call the mess hall, uh, where all these soldiers or all the Navy seamen and officers all sit. And we actually had our lunch with all the officers in the Navy and, uh, and the normal seamen. So that was awesome, that. So remember it to this day, and that was 25, 24 years ago. Oh no, this woman. It's good to try and pull him into you. Yeah. Let go now. Quite safe to let go now, miss. Yeah. Listen, before I go on your ship, I want to ask you a question. What's that, miss? Will I be safe from the sailors, or will I be molested by some passion trade stoker with great <laughs> big hairy arms? Lady, you're as safe as houses on this ship. Are you quite sure? Absolutely. Blast. She was hoping to be molested by some sailors, I think. <laughs> Where is Clarence? You're definitely, uh, you're definitely interested in sailors, mate, that's for sure, but I love this character, Clarence, he's hilarious. It's a cold, you know, like that thing on the floor there, what's that called? Cleat. That's a cleat. I think, yeah. A cleat. Mm. <laughs> and what are those big things sticking out up there, then? Those are six-inch guns, sir. Oh, go on, you're having me on. Six-inch <laughs> guns. They must be 15 foot. <laughs> <laughs> It's a projectile that shoots his six inch. This is funny comedy though. Oh, and what are those things a boat's <coughs> tied to? Bollards. <laughs> Don't start anything you can't finish. <laughs> 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 he wishes. And how about that going across <coughs> the deck? That's a horse, huh? You know what? She. <laughs> must say I like her dress. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, it's a little short one. I've made it long because I don't stop talking, but I like to fill you in with bits of information, I like to do with a memory card and stuff like that, you know, just so you know why, um, you know, it's been days sometimes I've not done videos. Uh, so, yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed that. It's funny as hell. Like I said, my favourite character in the Dick Henry show is the really camp guy there at the end, uh, Clarence. You know, he's really super funny. I enjoy it. Please go ahead and check out my other comedy videos and playlists and all my other content actually on this Paul B. Hustlin 85. And also don't forget to like, especially subscribe if you haven't already done so, because it's a great channel I think, and hit the notification bell. Have yourselves a great evening over in America or wherever you might be watching from. And thank you so much as always.